Hi, it's Graham from Concept Music here again, and um, thanks for coming back. And it looks like if you've got this far in our video range that you've your child's actually got through the first lesson and you've started off with the uh, on the journey. So congratulations on getting this far. You've got over the hurdle of what if they give up and they've started. So how, how do we keep them playing? If you'd like to go to our website, we've got an extensive blog with our 14 top tips on how to helping them to practice and but I just thought I'd touch base on it and add a few little extra comments to that so some of the tips are just like establish a routine you know things you might expect once you've read them you go oh of course of course you know don't expect them to practice for hours every day just a few minutes every day is better a few days a week than sitting down once a week for a long intensive sessions but in addition to that some things that I find, found helpful when I'm teaching um, and with my students, but also the feedback we get from parents and from teachers, is that something that's very helpful is to have the instrument out ready to practice. Now, I know there's a safety issue there. You don't want the clarinet to get sat on if it's left on the bed, but experience would dictate that if you say, go and do your practice and they have to open the case and put it together and get it out, it's harder for them to get started on a practice. Whereas if they've got the instrument out ready to go, they're more likely to just pick it up and start practicing. Now that might mean investing in something like this very funky stand from Germany for the trumpet. It stores inside the bell, so it's always handy. This is great, I love, I, I love this invention, I love this design. It spins out, the legs come like that, and that's a very stable platform to keep your trumpet on so it's not getting knocked over. But having your instrument out ready, whether it's a guitar, a trombone, a trumpet, a clarinet, on a stand so that it's safe, is a good way to make sure they don't have to unpack the case, put it together and get started. And maybe have, if you've got the room, and depending where they practice, if you can leave that practice environment set up ready to go, that's really helpful as well. Again, have the music stand out. The music stand, if you haven't got one already, is a terrific investment. They're only 20 or $30. And if you can have your music sitting out ready to go, that's another barrier taken away from them to get started. So you've got the music out, the stands out, their instrument's ready to go, they'll just pick it up and practice. I don't want to practice, Mum. I don't want to practice, Dad. Ask them just to do five minutes, because you'll find once they've got started, it'll inevitably, it will expand itself. So it's getting over that starting. You just want to reduce as many hurdles as possible. So have the instrument out, have the music out. Don't say, you're going to sit down and you're going to do half an hour. So we'll just do five minutes then because inevitably once they get started, they'll keep going. And then when they stop, you might say, they might say, I'm finished now, I'm finished now. Say, oh, just play me that little song again, that one I really like, and get, just extend it slightly and push them and encourage them. So do the carrot rather than the stick, in my experience, has better results. So just try to encourage them, just pick it up in the first place, make it as easy as possible. So they would be just a couple of extra little tips. We've talked before about having a metronome. A metronome can make it fun, but it's also a good teaching aid. And something like this little, um, little Korg metronome, they're only about $40. It's an invaluable practice aid, and it'll add time to the practice because they can spend part of their time going through their scales, going through their pieces, making sure they're not speeding up and slowing down. This one's, um, this one's a particularly popular one, and it's pretty easy to hear. The stand idea, as I said, is a terrific one. Um, the clarinet version of that trumpet stand is this little one by, it's k and it's a German design. And it's, again, it goes inside the bell. It stabilizes the instrument. The clarinet's pretty unstable sitting on its own. But with this, this just spins off, stays inside the bell. So it's always handy there and it makes the clarinet, it's a lot safer to have your clarinet on the stand than it is just resting on the floor or sitting on the bed. So. There are just a couple of little extra things to try and encourage the kids to keep going. So a few times a week rather than one long, long session is usually the better way to go. Get them started, reduce as many barriers as possible. If you want to go through the rest of the tips, they're on our website. We've got a blog on practicing tips. We've got a little publication available over the counter on top practice tips. So feel free to refresh yourself with those, but good work to get to this stage. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm.